Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, January 26th. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Innsworth for Longmont Public Media. Monday the 31st is a new moon, uh, rising and setting about the same time as the sun does. So we've gone from 31st being a full moon, we've now uh, precessed two weeks off, and we have th that phase occurring at the end of the month from the Halloween a couple years ago. Uh, we got uh, drought conditions in Colorado. We have much better things going on in the mountains. There's much less uh, drought, and now a little bit got nipped out around the Denver area. So that's good. Going nationally, the west gets a little bit of relief, as does the southern plains. Looking at the snowpack over the uh, last few weeks, you can see it started out. Uh, just in middle of December, way below normal. It climbed very rapidly, shot above normal. It's kind of leveled off, and the curve is coming up to meet it of what is normal. But we're still above normal. So 116% uh, uh, normal uh, value statewide. And you can see it was a little drier. We certainly did get snow uh, yesterday, Tuesday, but it wasn't a lot of water. It was about a quarter of an inch of liquid over most areas. East of the Continental Divide, you can see a little bit there, half inch to an inch in some spots in the mountains. So our next storm is right on its heels, coming in for Thursday morning, just after this video goes up. Big trough moving pretty quickly through. Uh, across the nation and you can see a period of snow just about like the last one maybe a little less moisture with it um, coming in Thursday morning but it will make the commute all slushy and difficult again uh, here's the snow forecast um, we have another system down in Texas bringing uh, snow and uh, even rain further south uh, nationally we have a small chance of convection in Florida and right on the coast, I don't know if they put that there just so there'd be some green, but the next day there are no thunderstorms forecast. We're driving warm through the weekend, as you'll see in a moment, but the next storm looks bigger. This looks like a more prolonged uh, and wetter uh, storm event. And so, yeah, let's go. we're going to take a look at that in just a moment. So here's the normal temperatures rising a degree from 44 to 45, 17 for the normal low throughout the next 10 day period. There goes our uh, Tuesday chance of showers and a really good chance of precipitation on Thursday. Next week, Tuesday through Thursday, look at all the uh, different runs are a little bit in different agreement. There's, these are 30 different runs of the GFS, but uh, the overall evidence is it's going to be stormy for a few days. So let's put that in motion. There goes our Tuesday storm. Here comes our Thursday trough. Kind of a narrow trough, so it's moving pretty quickly. Giant ridge right behind it moves in for the weekend, making it uh, pretty comfortable. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. And then we have a low slip by south of us, but the ridge is still dominant. And then on Tuesday, here comes a, a much deeper, larger trough. It gets a reinforcing uh, trough on the back side that almost makes it look like like it comes to a halt and then reverses direction before moving on. Another little shot there before it pulls away at the end of the week. So let's take a look at the temperatures. We have our cold air from Tuesday sinking down to Texas. Then on Friday, the next shot of cold air slides down and goes down into Mexico. For the weekend, we warm up really nicely. A good deal above normal. This is a snowpack in here making it colder than normal. And then the next shot is giant. This one really covers the nation. Look how sharp that cold front is on the leading edge shooting across Texas. Temperatures far below normal in the middle of the nation. Another shot comes down on Friday on the back side of that trough. You can see it push against the mountains before it starts to slide away. The east is going to freeze. So let's take a look at this snow. There goes Tuesday's storm. Here comes Thursday's storm. About, it's a short duration, like 4 a.m. to 10 a.m. or so, and then it's away. Giant east coast low cranking up blizzard-like conditions and horrible stuff in New England. <coughs> and then taking a look at Monday, here comes the cold air out of the Canada. And into Tuesday, Wednesday, 
kind of pulls it away a little bit faster. There's an additional little shot near the end of the week as a little more colder slides by. So active patterns. Over the next five days, melted precipitation should be a tenth of an inch or so on average and just around the mountains where you get the upslope flow. And snow from this storm looks like one to three inches along I-25 and in the foothills. It's not a big uh, storm, but it will make timing and the cold temperatures will make it rough on Thursday morning. Over the next 10 days, we get to scoop in a little bit of that next storm. You can see quarter inch to half inch liquid amounts and more significant snow, five, six, eight inches of snow near Boulder in west side Denver and up in the foothills above Fort Collins. So, yep, this will be no more notable and we'll see how it evolves. It could, yeah, of course, this far I'll go either way. It could fade away and, or lose its moisture or it could become something even more significant. So it's just something to watch for next week. So there we are, 30s going into the 40s. Might even see some 50s on the weekend, maybe. And then we shoot back down to freezing and below with a good chance of snow Tuesday. We do have a February outlook. Uh, it came out, so why not show it? Uh, for the temperatures, they're giving the southern and eastern part of the nation uh, above average chances for above normal temperatures. I know it's crazy. Uh, equal chances here, below up there. That next 10 days uh, really cold air out there doesn't seem to match that pattern, but we'll, we'll see what the whole, whole overall month turns out as. And for precipitation, equal chances for us, drier than normal, chances down below us. For frequent weather updates, local news, check out Longmont Leader and Broomfield Leader at those.coms. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Innsworth. Keep looking up.